Canva has become one of those Swiss army knife type softwares that have become essential for an online entrepreneur. And if you're a YouTube entrepreneur, just check out all the things that you can do on Canva. In fact, I was quite surprised. So I went to Canva and I literally, I typed in YouTube. There you go. And look at all the options, channel art, display ads, icons, thumbnails, uh, YouTube videos, uh, thumbnails, intro, outro. There is so much functionality that they've added. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Canva as a YouTube entrepreneur. So are you ready? Hey Go Getter, it's Salma Jafri. I'm the founder of YouTube Launchpad, the foundational course for growing your personal brand with video. And if you want to grow your YouTube channel and get more visibility, credibility, and profitability, then be sure to subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button, hitting the bell icon, and let's begin. Now, Canva is has a, both a free version and a paid version. So all the things I'm gonna talk about, you can actually do in the free version. And then at the end, I'll tell you a couple of reasons why you might wanna upgrade and get the pro version and why I did that and some of the things I'm doing with that. So to get started with the free version, just type in YouTube in the Canva search bar and you'll see all of these options. Let's start with the first one, which is YouTube channel art. Now I will link to all the videos that I've made on how to do all of this stuff. So I have a video on YouTube channel art and how to make that in Canva. I'll link to that here. Go at the end of this video and click on the eye on the corner right there and you'll be able to watch those tutorials. But basically what you want to start with is you want to make YouTube channel art using Canva. They have some great designs here. You can download them. They're pretty much all for free, uh, except if they're paid, then it's labeled paid, but you can add your own graphics and stuff here as well. So lots and lots of ideas for you right here in terms of designing your YouTube channel art. One thing I will say is that you can download the channel art template from YouTube or just go to Google. So just type in channel art template like so. And this is the first one here. This is the YouTube channel art templates. You wanna download this and then upload this to Canva, which will give you the exact dimensions that you need for your channel art. So you know uh, where to put your text and where to put your logo. So it's inside the text and logo safe area so that your channel art is, is visible on mobile devices, on iPad and tablet devices, on PCs and laptops and computer devices, and also on television. Lots of people actually watch YouTube on their TVs. So you wanna know how to optimize for each of those. So download that template, upload it to Canva, and watch my tutorial on how to make great YouTube channel art templates. Okay, the next one we wanna do is YouTube icon. So let's type in YouTube icon here. An icon is really the profile picture that you want showing. And for personal brands, I typically recommend using your own picture. But if you are a corporate brand or maybe your YouTube channel is run by lots of different people together and you wanna use either some kind of logo or picture there that defines your brand, then you can use YouTube icon inside Canva to kind of get some ideas and get started with your designing. So for any kind of corporate brands, you can do logo designs here. Here. You can put your own picture inside a design here. Remember, make it easy to see on mobile devices. Like that's the thing I would say for all design that you do inside Canva. Just make sure to test it out on a mobile device because a lot of people watch YouTube on their mobile devices. Okay, so that's the other thing that you can do here with Canva. Okay, let's go on to YouTube thumbnails. And again, you're gonna see tons and tons of options here. Now, one thing I will say is that as you are using these YouTube templates for thumbnails, a lot of them actually are not, for, from my perspective, the text size is not appropriate for a YouTube thumbnail. So what I typically go and do is, whatever thumbnail I design, let's say, um, this one, right? So life in the swell. Let's say you wanna choose this particular font and this particular size and you want this to be your YouTube thumbnail. What I would suggest you do is go here where it says 68% and click on this and actually go down to 25% or even to 10%. That will show you whether your text is actually readable on a cell phone or a mobile phone, right? And in this case, it's really not. So that is the only beef I have with Canva designs that if the text is not readable on a mobile device, then you do not wanna use that particular size of font, increase it up to a point where the text is readable. And same goes for any graphics that you're using. So if you are 
designing anything at all does it make sense in that little itty bitty frame or not if it doesn't go with a cleaner more simple minimalistic design and of course i'll link you to the custom youtube thumbnail tutorial that i have that i actually designed with using canva and so again i'm going to link that right up here and it'll also be inside the description so go and watch that next all right, the next thing I want to show you is the YouTube intro. This is something new that Canva has added. So we're going to go here and design an intro inside Canva. So you type in YouTube intro and it'll give you all these options of amazing animations that you can download. And some of them are free again, and some of them are on the paid plan. So let's choose one from here. So for example, if we click on these three dots here, it'll show, the, show you the animation, right? So this could be a great intro for your YouTube channel and then you simply click on use this template and then you can customize this entire YouTube intro. Another thing that I will mention is that you can customize the animation inside this intro. So right now it's one of this DJ thing moving. So if you want to actually animate some of the text, you click on this and then you can go here to animate and then you can add some of these effects from here as well, right? So for example, if I wanted to add the block effect. So this is another great way to make a really simple YouTube intro. No fuss, no must, just get it done. Three seconds max for YouTube intros, remember that. Keep them really short and just have that branding element in your YouTube videos. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is YouTube outros. What Canva calls YouTube outros, but YouTube calls YouTube end screens. So I'm gonna type in YouTube outro here and look at all the end screen designs that Canva has. Again, these are really great designs for your end screens. I always recommend planning your end screen in advance so you actually know where the different elements are gonna be and you can sort of point to your end screen elements. You can say, watch this video next, subscribe here. You know, so you can do all of these. So plan out how you're going to end your videos. Plan out your call to actions, right? Where will the links be? So you can use these to think about how you're going to be ending your videos and then just put these in um, in your editing software. So you just want to add these in. So what you can do is, for example, uh, you can take a template like this one, for example, right? So you click on this and it's going to give you all of these boxes, which are great for um, putting in elements. So boxes are great for watch this video next or watch this playlist next, or you can do a previous video and next video. So this was the previous video. Go watch this if you haven't yet. And this is the next video in this series. Go watch this next. So these are great ways to add calls to action to the end of your YouTube video so that people keep watching your content and you develop those watch time hours. And also you get, get YouTube to start recommending more and more of your videos to watch next to people. Another element which actually Canva doesn't mention, but I think is a great use of Canva for YouTube is your branding watermark. So the branding watermark is the subscribe button that sits on the corner. I think it's the right corner <laughs> of all your YouTube videos. And you can actually make that in Canva. So let me show you what that looks like. So you wanna go into your YouTube channel and you wanna go into YouTube studio and then click on your settings. And inside your settings, you want to click on channel and then go and click on the branding tab up there. Now, this is your video watermark. And you can see I already have a watermark here and I've decided to display it for the entire video because I want people to subscribe to the channel, right? So if you are looking to get more subscribers to your YouTube channel, develop a branding watermark. So we're going to go to Canva and make one. So you go to Canva and all you need to do is start with a blank canvas. It could be any size, really, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go to home. Um, let's just start with a blank canvas here, like so. Just chose a YouTube thumbnail canvas, doesn't really matter. Okay, and then inside elements, I'm going to type in subscribe. And you can choose from one of these subscribe buttons. You can even make your own subscribe button. So all you need is a rectangle, write the word subscribe on it, make it red, and it looks like a red subscribe button. So that's how easy it is to do. You download this and you can crop all the white space out. Um, if you have the pro version, you can make it with a transparent background. And if you don't have the pro version, simply download this version, um, this file, and then go to remove.bg and remove the background. And you'll have a professional looking uh, branding watermark without any background graphics in it. So that's a really quick tip on how to make a branding watermark using Canva 
for your YouTube videos. So my question for you today is what kind of graphics do you need the most for your YouTube channel? Is it like lower thirds? Is it subscribe and bell animations? What are the graphics that you need? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll also link to some videos that I've made on uh, the kind of animations that you should have in your YouTube channel. So I made a video with using Placeit to get some of your YouTube animations going. And then I have another video on free YouTube animations and then another video on how to make a free YouTube intro. And so I'll link to all of those relevant videos inside the description. Make sure you check them out. Now coming to the pro version of Canva, which I've been using for about a month now. So what I've been doing inside the pro version is developing a lot of different kinds of things and why you might wanna upgrade to the pro version is let me show you i'm going to go to all my designs and i'm going to show you like this is one of the reasons because i've been developing some of my coaching modules inside here so i'm developing entire presentations and you can see this presentation that i developed let me click on edit original and show you some of the slides and so the easiest way to develop like lots of slides for a presentation is to upgrade to the pro version so you can use all of the elements and all of the pictures and all of the things inside Canva for free. So this is one of the modules that I developed for my coaching program and you can see it's very visually intensive. So I used a lot of the elements inside Canva. So it was worth it for me to upgrade to Canva Pro just so I could get all these fancy graphics done really, really quickly. And this is like a, what, 65 slide presentation. So you can do entire presentations in Canva. The other reason for upgrading would be for their resize functionality. So you can actually click this resize button and you can take either a slide or an entire presentation and you can change the pixel and the dimensions of that. So if I wanted to convert, for example, a Facebook post into an Instagram story, or I wanted to change the dimensions from an Instagram story into a um, 16 by nine YouTube thumbnail format. I could do all of that inside the pro version of Canva. The other thing you can do is you can add in your branding colors. So for example, if you have a design, so let's come out of this and you have a design, let's go into one of my YouTube thumbnails and you can see how I add branding colors. So what you can do is you can actually customize all of your branding colors and your branding fonts if you're using the pro version. So you simply go over here. I'm going to click on this and it's going to show my brand color. So in the free version, you can add up to three brand colors, but in the pro version, you can add, you know, however many brand colors. So you don't have to keep uh, just remembering like what the code is for your colors and also it helps with consistency because then you can have all your, of your graphics having the same kind of color scheme. So those would be three top reasons to upgrade to Canva Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go watch these videos next on developing great thumbnails. I'll catch you inside the next video.